In recent years, hypersonic weapons have become one of the most talked about military technologies in the world. Among them, China's DF-27 hypersonic missile has drawn global attention, especially from military analysts in the United States and its allies. But what exactly is the DF-27? How powerful is it? And why is it considered a potential game-changer in modern warfare? In this video, we'll break down China's DF-27 hypersonic missile, explaining what it is, how it works, and why it matters, all in the next 8 minutes. The DF-27, also known as Dongfeng-27, is believed to be one of China's newest long-range hypersonic missile systems. What sets the DF-27 apart from older ballistic missiles is its hypersonic glide capability. Instead of following a predictable ballistic arc, the missile is believed to release a hypersonic glide vehicle, or HGV, which can maneuver at extremely high speeds while staying within the atmosphere. This makes the DF-27 far more difficult to detect, track and intercept. To understand the DF-27, we first need to understand the term hypersonic. A weapon is considered hypersonic when it travels at speeds greater than Mach 5, or 5 times the speed of sound. That's over 6,000 km per hour, depending on altitude. The DF-27 is believed to reach speeds of Mach 8 to Mach 10, possibly even faster. But speed alone isn't the real threat. Traditional ballistic missiles follow a predictable path, making them easier to track with radar systems. Hypersonic glide vehicles, on the other hand, can change direction mid-flight, flying low and fast while evading missile defense systems. This combination of speed, maneuverability, and low-altitude flight is what makes hypersonic weapons so dangerous. According to defense analysts, the DF-27 is believed to have an estimated range of 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers. This puts several strategic targets within reach, including U.S. military bases in the Pacific, naval assets such as aircraft carrier strike groups. Some reports suggest that the DF-27 may be specifically designed for anti-ship missions, potentially threatening high-value naval targets like aircraft carriers. If accurate, this would represent a major shift in naval warfare, as aircraft carriers have long been the backbone of U.S. power projection. Older Chinese missiles, such as the DF-21 and DF-26, are primarily ballistic missiles with limited maneuverability. The DF-27, however, appears to combine long-range ballistic missile technology with advanced hypersonic glide vehicles. This allows the missile to launch like a ballistic missile, separate in mid-flight and glide unpredictably toward its target. This hybrid design significantly reduces the effectiveness of existing missile defense systems such as Patriot, Tihad, or even advanced naval interceptors. In short, the DF-27 is not just faster, it's smarter and harder to stop. Why the DF-27 worries the United States? China's new DF-27 missile boasts an 8,000 km range, bringing the U.S. homeland within striking distance and amplifying regional security concerns. The DF-27 has raised serious concerns within the U.S. Department of Defense. One major reason is reaction time. At hypersonic speeds, a missile could travel thousands of kilometers in minutes. This leaves very little time for detection, decision-making, and interception. Another concern is uncertainty. Because the missile can maneuver, defenders may not know the target until it's too late. Additionally, if the DF-27 is nuclear-capable, it complicates strategic stability. An incoming hypersonic missile could be misinterpreted as a nuclear attack, increasing the risk of escalation. This is why many analysts see hypersonic weapons as potentially destabilizing, even if they are armed with conventional warheads. So why is China investing heavily in systems like the DF-27? From Beijing's perspective, hypersonic weapons serve several strategic purposes. First, they act as a deterrent, signaling that China can penetrate even the most advanced defense systems. 
Second, they help counter U.S. military advantages, particularly in naval power and missile defense. Third, hypersonic missiles support China's broader anti-access and area denial strategy, often called A2AD, which aims to prevent adversaries from operating freely near China's borders. In this sense, the DF-27 is not just a weapon, it's a political and strategic message. How does it compare to other hypersonic weapons? China is not alone in developing hypersonic weapons. The United States and Russia are also racing to deploy similar systems. Russia's avant-garde hypersonic glide vehicle and the U.S. long-range hypersonic weapon are often compared to China's DF-27. While exact performance data is unknown, many experts believe China has made rapid progress and may even be ahead in certain areas, particularly in testing and deployment. The DF-27 represents China's growing confidence in advanced missile technology and its desire to compete at the highest level of military innovation. The DF-27 hypersonic missile is more than just another weapon in China's arsenal. It represents a new era of warfare, one defined by extreme speed, unpredictable trajectories, and shrinking reaction times. While many details remain secret, what we do know is enough to make military planners around the world take notice. As hypersonic technology continues to evolve, weapons like the DF-27 will play a critical role in shaping the future balance of power. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.